Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Tuesday, January 19th, 2010. Well, folks, here we are in earnings season, all in earnest, and it is a quite a wild ride already, beginning from last week when we got J.P. Morgan and we got Intel. You also got Alcoa previously earlier in the week. The market, again, initially selling on most of the earnings, yet still having these bounce-back effects. I mean, it's truly amazing to see the resiliency of this market as it bounces back. All right, now what do I mean by that, folks? Well, as you can see today, the market, which lost all of this on Friday, is now coming back strong today on Tuesday. Remember, Monday the markets were closed. But in any case, you can see clearly the market pretty much recapturing everything to gap fill. Now, right here was a good scalping opportunity. Know your technical educational levels, folks. Gap window, gap fill, you name it, there's scalps there. Look at this. Here's gap window. From this point right here, look at it, you go right there and look at the pullback. Gap fill, you pierced it, pulled back. So again, all these educational technical levels are there for the taking. Very, very important to understand, and you should be looking at them to see these, all right? Now again, a couple other things to go over today. First of all, let's touch on what the indexes are doing. Again, what I'm seeing here, folks, is the Dow up about 107 points, NASDAQ up 30, and the S&P 500 up about 12. Again, that's basically negating everything we lost on Friday. Friday was a brutal day, heavy volume. Today is lighter volume than that, but again, you're still seeing a reversal on lighter volume. Look at the volume throughout the day, folks, how it's depreciated here, just gone lower and lower from the early start when we had decent volume all the way down. That's telling you there's no participation, but look at how the volume was heavy here early on when the market was in this range, and then it's, it's just gotten lighter and lighter, non-existent. The market's floated up. Now, the key is, again, folks, what's going on here? Everyone is waiting on IBM. IBM earnings after the bell today. Watch that very, very closely. That's going to be a big catalyst. Now, if you're looking for the next level to possibly go short intraday, and remember, I only analyze intraday in these intraday videos because it's an intraday video, plus I leave the premium subscribers to what I give them over the course of projections out. What's the level to look at on the daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart for the big, big levels to look to go swing trade long or short and position yourself in that direction. But in any case, what you're seeing here clearly is that if you break through this gap fill, which again, notice the gap fill right here from the close on uh, Thursday of last week to Friday's gap down and sell off. You're back to that Thursday close. And then again, if you get through this level, which is looking like the market's trying to do, it's double topping right here at this same resistance yellow trend line. But if you get through there, you're going to go up to this level right here at 115.15 to 115.20. That is going to be your key level to watch, folks, and please be aware of that. That will be a good resistance level to watch for a possible shorting opportunity. All right, now a couple other things to go through here. If you start to pull back, what's your big level going to be? Clear as a bell right in here. All right, see this white trend line, how you came down then bounced off of it after you broke through it? That's going to be your number one spot anywhere between this 114.45 and 114.55 area. 10 cent range right here. I can even draw a little bit of an X in this range for you guys to watch. Uh, again, if you come down, that's going to be your support level. If you come through that, you have a clear, amazing level right here, which is going to be a necktie this afternoon. A necktie for educational purposes is a cross of two trend lines or two moving averages where price goes right into that cross. So if, for instance, if over the next 10 minute, 20, 30, 40 minutes in this intraday 10 minute SPY uh, chart, you see the 50 cross the 200, let's say right over here, and it comes right up here like there, and you see price fall into that, that would be an easy scalp to the long side. All right, again, I talk a lot of education because, again, that's what we like to do. We want to make sure you're educated in the plays, understand why we're calling out longs and shorts intraday. And, again, this applies all to the daily charts, folks. I want you guys to realize that. It's all about analyzing the market on all time frames so you can either swing trade, day trade, or long-term invest. It's all there for the taking for everyone. All right? Now, a couple other things to go over. Let's go to the 60-minute chart and start to analyze. One thing that I pointed out to my premium members when I gave them the alert you might have an update today was based on this M pattern. We had an M pattern in the chart with the beginning of an A, and I said, guys, this A pattern could continue to go up. Now, it's been a dramatic move up where you almost get back to the highs of the M, in which case, if it got above that, you would negate the M. But right now, you could still make a case that this is an actual M with a big A pattern here and a possibility of a rollover, maybe on IBM's earnings or some earnings 
earnings from the uh, the financials tomorrow. Tomorrow we get Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Morgan Stanley tomorrow before the open of the market. So these are all possibilities that you have to look at, and it's all about trying to figure out the odds of what. How do I position myself to take the best out of the play? How do I position myself with an 80% to 90% success rate? And again, that's what we bring to our premium subscribers in the research center at InTheMoneyStocks.com and in the chat room for all of you guys to see. All right, so that again is something to watch on the 60-minute uh, chart here. You can see clear as a bell, beautiful M pattern. I called the M pattern going into Friday of last week that it would probably form, and sure enough, that fall came in to complete the M, and then you got the A into the close continuation of the A pattern here. MA patterns are notoriously bearish patterns, and please understand that that is a key component of any technical trader's handbook. All right, now a couple other things to go over, folks. Let's look at some intraday Amazon charts. Amazon was weak very, very early in the day. In fact, let me go to the 10-minute chart here on Amazon. Look at the selling early on, and then look at the recovery on Amazon. Interesting to note, Amazon went to the 200, pulled back. Went to the 200, pulled back. Pushed through the 200, didn't clo closed above, but didn't confirm, is now pulling back. But remember, every time this hits, and again, this is another In the Money Stocks educational point, every time a resistance point hits, it gets a little bit weaker. So notice how the first two times it couldn't get through, this, the third time it finally got through, still pulled back, but each time it seems to be getting a little further, a little further, until it finally could break up, unless it really just pulls back now and just goes straight down. But again, if it hits again or once or twice more times, you'd have to anticipate that it would get through, especially because you have a nice little trend line resistance point right here. Now, a break of that would probably send Amazon, in my guess, up to this point right here on the charts. Uh, intraday Amazon would be at, so let me get you a price, 128.80. That would be your next target. And then ultimately all the way up to the highs going back from Friday, which would be at 129.65, 129.75 level. All right, so those are your levels on Amazon to watch. Now let's take a look quickly at Apple Computer. Apple Computer, what a day today. They announced over the weekend they would be uh, debuting or showing, showcasing their tablet, which again is kind of like a takeoff on the Amazon type book reading tool that they have, the uh, electronic device to read uh, books on. Again, that's supposed to be big. It's supposed to be fantastic, but what you're seeing, in my opinion, is a buy the rumor, and it could be a sell the news type thing. So you may see this run up into their debuting of that, and then it could very well pull back. Today, a huge move on Apple, up $8. Now, the key on Apple, guys, and I posted this on the chart, on the uh, blog page for all to read is that you have to look at your resistance on the daily chart clear as a bell you have resistance coming into play very shortly at two, uh, 215 60 215 75 on Apple now you're not quite there yet but you're only about a dollar away from it and again that's a very possible play into that double top there on the daily chart for resistance point for a possible intraday scalp or even a swing trade but I wouldn't probably go swing trade short until you really get that tablet to come out uh, the announcement showcase right up into that then that would be the point I believe it's next Next weekend, they're going to showcase that or so, or later this week. So follow that very closely, folks. Now, let's take a look at Goldman Sachs, guys. Goldman Sachs has earnings later this week. We know JP Morgan had earnings Friday morning. These are keys to watch as well. As you can see here, Goldman is having a little bit of an update, up 2 bucks, but it's now below these two moving averages. Below those two moving averages should act, especially as they creep closer together, as a little bit of a resistance point necktie that the price will have a lot of trouble getting through. Right now, I'd start to look for a sideways consolidation pattern over the next few days on Goldman, and then a possible future sell-off, maybe on earnings or not. We'll have to see again. And how that comes out. I do expect Goldman Sachs to have very good earnings. Of all the companies out there, we all know they they have the biggest hand with the government and therefore probably will do you know pretty sizably well. The question is, is it going to be good enough? I mean, it's all about being good enough for Wall Street. Intel had great results, but it wasn't good enough because price increased way too much up into earnings. Same thing with some of these other plays, like Alcoa. Alcoa being up 100% in the last six months or something, just way too much. Uh, watch IBM. IBM, again, folks, earnings today up $1.27. It's rising into earnings right into a little bit of resistance double top here. In addition, if you look at the monthly chart, you can see another key level right up in this range here. That's, it's right into right around that 135 levels, also resistance. So you're very close to some key levels of resistance on IBM as well. Please watch that very, very closely. You're actually not far from the all-time highs in two, uh, 1999 of about 140 of all-time highs on IBM as well. That's only about $7 away. So the question is, are they going to push it up into that 140 level, then drop it, or are they going to drop it here on earnings after the bell today? We will know. We will update you guys in the nightly video after hours to our Research Center subscribers. Again, 40 minutes in length. 
In addition, the Hidden Gem do debut today. Uh, it's, is up, it was up as much as 40%, still hovering near those highs. As again, the Hidden Gem factors were true, folks. You can go and see and do your uh, analysis. Watch that video or the Hidden Gems video posted to the Research Center subscribers. There is some unbelievable due diligence done there and some insane value in this. I couldn't even believe it when I saw it. Again, log in and you can, or sign up for the Research Center and you can view that. Be on top of these as they come out, folks. Again, it's not even close to its target yet and it's already up about 40% on the day. I still think it's going even higher than that. Uh, fantastic play there. All right, folks, that's all for today. Enjoy. Come join the Research Center. Come join the chat room. Look for the webinar later this week. Look for the discount that we have on the webinar later this week. This is, again, the webinar is this coming Saturday. And, again, you can get a significant discount uh, with the Refer a Friend type program. Take care, folks.